Winter's here and that means one thing, it's multi-band antenna season. I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I recently picked up the 80 meter off-center fed dipole from N9SAB. I'm here at the Erie Canalway National Heritage Quarter now. Let's get the antenna set up for a Parks on the Air activation and see how it does with the ICOM 7300. All right, let's uh, take a look at the setup. Uh, got the N9SAB 80 meter off-center fed dipole up about 25 feet. Uh, it's on the MFJ 1910 mast, which is normally 33 feet, but it's not quite all the way up there. Pretty good inverted V. Uh, then we got 10 meters of RG174 coming down to the car that's connected to the ICOM 7300. Uh, we are running north-south, and I have the shorter leg of the dipole going off to the north. And you'll see some orange paracord, and then that's tied off to just uh, a milk jug filled with uh, water to uh, weigh it down. As you can see, it's kind of snowy, cold. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get the stakes in the ground, so I figured I'd give uh, this method a shot now. We're walking to the south, and you'll see the other milk jug. The uh, longer end of the dipole is honestly just a couple feet up off the ground there. Uh, let's get it on the air and uh, see how it does. Okay, here's a quick look at the uh, SWR on 80 meters. You can see it's pretty close to flat across the uh, band, really good on 80. Let's check the others. All right, here's a quick look at the SWR now on uh, 40 meters, and you can see that uh, it's, it's pretty good, about 1.3. It's a little bit higher towards the bottom of the band and, and starts to dip off a little towards the upper portion, but still very, very good on 40 meters. All right, here's a quick look of the uh, SWR on uh, 20 meters now, and you'll see it's, it's pretty consistent across the band, about 1.3. 10 meters, you're looking at maybe 1.3 to 1.4 uh, across the band, very good and very usable. And now six meters, you can see uh, very good SWR too. Again, below 1.5, it's probably 1.4. Uh, this is in the lower portion of uh, six meters or you might be doing weak signal like SSB or FT8 digital modes. All right, we are on 12 meters now. Let's see if the uh, tuner, this is just the three to one, can match it. Okay, it was able to tune up on 12 meters. Uh, let's check the other bands. Okay, we are on uh, 15 meters now. Let's see if the tuner will work. Nope, the uh, three to one tuner is not gonna work on 15. All right, 17 meters now. Let's uh, check the tuner. Three to one tuner was able to find a match on 17. Okay, here we are on 30 meters. Let's see if the three to one will work here. Nope, no, nope, not gonna tune it. All right, lastly, let's uh, see 60 meters just for fun. This is the uh, uh, third channel, channel three in the middle. Uh, so let's see what uh, happens here. No luck. All right, let's uh, put the uh, rig into emergency mode and see if the emergency tuner uh, will be able to uh, get us tuned up on 30, uh, 15 and uh, what it was the other one, 30, 15, and um, 60, that's right. Okay, so here's emergency mode. We are on 30 meters, and uh, let's give it a try. Yep, that was able to uh, get a tune. All right, here we are on uh, 60 meters. Yep, that worked. And let's see here. It was 15 that we had some trouble with the three to one. Let's try that. Yep, emergency tuner worked. Uh, so you're you're able to get all bands uh, 80 through six on the uh, 7300 using the internal tuner or the uh, emergency tuner. Uh, so that is fantastic. Let's see if the emergency tuner will actually do a uh, top band. Let's see here. Uh, it does not look like it. Nope. It's a little too much for the emergency tuner. Oh well. All right, we are set up on 60 meter FT8. 
Uh, we have the rig in emergency mode tuned up and running 50 watts, which is the maximum in emergency mode, and we'll see if uh, we make a contact on 60 meter FT8. There we go. Got one in the log, 60 meter FT8. All right, we are tuned up in emergency mode on 30 meter FT8. Uh, call in CQ POTA and we'll see if we can make a quick contact or two here as we work our way through uh, the bands. There we go. Uh, got our first contact on 30 meter FT8 in the log. You can see we're getting about half the power out. Flat SWR, no ALC. All right, we are tuned up on 15 meters in emergency mode. So again, like with 60 and 30, uh, we're limited to 50 watts out, um, but that's more than enough for FT8 right now. Uh, doing a park to park here with, uh, let's see what the call is, KM6TAU. Let's see if we can get this done. Boom, park to park on 15 meters. All right, making a ready contact on uh, 15 meters for the contest. Nailed it. All right, got November 2, Mike Alpha Zero, park to park. Have you a 5, 7, 57 into part 2 mode? 1, 0, 9, 5, 1, Delta. Okay, uh, second operator, I believe uh, you may be Michael. This is November 5, Victor, Oscar, Foxtrot, uh, same signal into Kilo 1, 0, 9, 5, 1, and I copy here the 6, 5, 3, 2, QSL. Pretty good there. All right, just uh, able to hunt a park to park with two ops here on uh, 15 meters. Uh, That'll wrap it up for emergency mode. Let's see how the antenna does uh, on the other bands with uh, just the three to one tuner. All right, putting out a couple calls on six meters, uh, but doesn't look like we're having any luck. I'm not hearing anything or seeing any activity on the waterfall. It was worth a shot though. November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo. November 2, Mike Alpha, Alpha Kilo. Copy whiskey number three, Oscar Alpha Bravo. Yeah, fine business. What are you doing? Good. Uh, doing good for a, uh, a dipole, that's for sure. 50 watts, uh, not bad at all. So, no problem. Uh, Q5 copy, anyways. Over. Uh, that's KB2 IAU. Over. All right, that was unexpected. Um, Again, just, just to test it out on all the bands, uh, gave FT8 a shot on six meters uh, real quick, didn't hear anything, called out on 50.125, that's the calling frequency for six meters, and I got not one, not two, but three six meter contacts. Yes, again, they're local, and I always gotta preface it with, uh, we do have an active VHF group in Western New York and Southern Ontario, so uh, it's not unusual. Um, to make contacts on six meters, two meter sideband, because uh, we do have an active bunch out there. That said, you don't know unless you try. Um, that's awesome to get six, uh, or not six, uh, three contacts on six meters. All right, getting a, another contact on uh, 40 meters for ready in the uh, contest. Awesome. All right, getting a 10 meter ready contact in the uh, contest. Awesome. All right, we are on a 12 meter FT8. It's uh, starting to get later out. Uh, so switching to FT8 to see if we can get some contacts on 12 and 17 uh, really quick. And so far so good. We're running 50 watts. We're just using the uh, internal three to one tuner to uh, tune it up. And let's take a look. There you'll see. Uh, Getting about 50 watts out, no ALC, SWR's flat, and uh, we're using the internal tuner. And there we go, one in the log. All right, we are on 17 meters using the three to one tuner, running 20 watts because I just remembered, I'm not sure what this antenna is rated for digital, so uh, 
We'll drop it down to 20 watts just to be safe and see if we can make a couple contacts on FT8. All right, there we go. 17 meter FT8 contact uh, with 20 watts. All right, I figured to give uh, 80 meter FT8 a shot and uh, looks like I should be able to get a couple in the log here too. Just finished up a 20 meter ready contact. All right, and just to uh, wrap things up, I uh, was able to check into the QRP SSB net that uh, Kevin K0KLB uh, runs usually on Sunday evenings. Uh, was able to get out to Iowa uh, running just uh, five watts with the uh, off-center fed dipole. And then Steve, uh, who also is uh, does net control for the net, uh, was able to pick me up down in uh, South Carolina as well with uh, five watts. Wow. <laughs> It's getting dark and it's also getting really cold. Um, so I'll wrap this up real quick. Uh, I had a blast playing with this antenna. Um, I was able to make contacts on every band 80 through six meters. Uh, you don't need a tuner to work 80, 40, 20, 10 and six. Uh, the internal three to one tuner on the ICOM 7300 uh, was able to uh, tune it up on 12 and 17. Uh, the emergency tuner was able to do it on 15, 30 and then 60 meters. Um, I had a blast, like I said, making contacts. It was neat doing some ready. Uh, that's something uh, I haven't really done before until I made my first ready contact in the contest last night at home. Uh, but it was fun doing it out here in the uh, park. Uh, made some FT8 contacts and then SSB contacts too from uh, QRP at five watts all the way up to 50 watts. I uh, did a late shift activation here with this antenna and had no problem uh, getting pileups on 40 and 80 meters. Uh, I did that New Year's Day. I did a live stream if you want to go check that out. Um, lastly, uh, you know, thank you Tim, N9SAB. You make awesome antennas and I encourage everyone to check it out. Um, I bought this antenna uh, like I did the, the 40 meter off center fed with my own, with my own money. Um, and uh, I absolutely love it and can't recommend Tim's antennas enough. So. Uh, Check out his stores on eBay and Etsy. And uh, lastly, I'll just say, you know, the off-center fed dipole, I, I've really grown to like a lot uh, in the last year since I, I got my first one. Uh, I know they don't get as much attention. They're not as popular as the NFED half waves, but I think that they're a great multi-band option for operating portable. And if you haven't yet, I encourage you to check one out. Uh, I'm getting cold though. I can barely feel my my fingers, my lips, and my toes. So uh, I, I will say a good evening and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet, click like, subscribe to my channel. I'm Mike N2MAK. Stay warm, 73.